Hi, welcome to Crafting a Country Life. I'm Andrea, and I'm coming on to share a project that I'm going to be posting on Saturday Morning Makes um, that's hosted by Jill Norwood. And uh, the project that I did for this week um, are some altered index cards. And I got this idea by seeing some items on Pinterest that were um, artist trading cards, memory dexes. Some of them were just plain cards, but then I thought, wouldn't it be fun to just create some recipe cards that uh, are not necessarily for cooking? So I went through my stash and I pulled out a, a whole bunch of different styles of cardstock. Um, and I love the vintage floral, so I did quite a few of them with that. And I cut them to three inches by five inches. Um, some of them are actually pocket style. So like this one has a backing. So you could put something in there if you wanted. And then they all have the index tabs. Um, let me just flip through these. These um, I put these together one morning, and then um, this morning I went uh, and took the ones that I put together. I took some of them and then did the altering on them, and I'll show you those in just a minute. But these are reversible, so I glued back to back after I corner rounded. I glued them back to back and then added the index tabs at the top. So here are the different types. And then this one I thought was more kind of 1950s, you know, 50s, 60s, kind of a retro feel. So I've got that. And then these vintage florals look very um, 1950s to me. So I tried to go with some, some of them with more bright colors on them. And some of them are more um, subtle pastels. And again, here's a 1960s kind of a pattern, retro pattern. And then this, so these are quite bright. And again, these, some of them are softer, like this one here has sort of like a French country floral antique vintage look to it. This one is also a pocket as well. This one is a piece of old wallpaper printing that I had purchased a book. I think I had shared on one of my previous videos but that's what that one is there. So, okay, so that's the pile of index cards. Now, what I did is, I used, to make the, bind, the, um, the index cards, I used this die set from Spellbinders, and it comes with a set of, um, there's six, or I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five different uh, index tabs in here. And I've had this for a long time. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but... Uh, after I, I, you know, I sat down and did some cutting, cut all my tabs out. I just did a bunch of different styles, different colors, different looks using the, that die set. And then uh, I sat down with my index cards and kind of matched up the colors with the different cards and glued them on. So then my session for embellishing them was this morning. So here's the first one. And you can see over here, I did a fussy cut of a vintage 1950s lady with her laundry basket. And then in the center here, there's some collaged fabric that I used my pinking shears on. And also some collaged washi tape, fabric bits, and uh, cardstock that I've done some treatments to with the scissors as well. And tiny little stickers, some washi tape up here as well. And in the center, I don't know if you can read that, it's kind of... Hard to see. It says sunshine all around. But I just love these brilliant, bright mid-century colors. I just thought they coordinated really well together with the flowers and the little lady with her yellow dress. There's the reverse. So that's the first one. This one is more of a 19, early 1960s kind of a, of a feel. So I cut this little gal out of a vintage sewing book from the 1960s and mounted it on some paper that um, looks very 1960s as well. A little bit of rickrack trim on the side, and it says, you are my happy. This is a Maggie Holmes sticker from one of her sticker books. And then the index tab has a little shine on it. 
and then some sticker butterflies and flowers as well were added. Down here is some more cardstock. So that's the front, and then the reverse is just kind of plain. This one is a pocket, by the way, so you could put some goodies inside there if you were gonna gift this. Okay, so that's the 1950s, 1960s, and then this is sort of a French antique country theme here. So I'm really having fun playing around with some different periods um, in my decorating with these different projects that I'm doing. And I just love this. Uh, both of these images here were cut out of uh, magazines. And then I've got some uh, Tim Holtz tissue paper up here that I've collaged on, a little stamped bird, some cotton lace, um, there's book pages, and then a Kathy Holden fabric. This is actually a piece of fabric that I cut apart from some of her uh, quilting cotton. Glued that on, it's a little postage stamp. And content, front and back. And then the last one here, early 1960s, La Bella Vita. <laughs> this little lady in her adorable kerchief, riding her Vespa. <laughs> and I love that mint color, her pretty pink dress, little poodle in the back with a hat, and some collaged um, cardstock bits and more stickers. Well, these are fairly easy to put together, and I didn't bulk them up too much. I wanted them to stay flat so that I can gift them and also to be able to store them into a little recipe box of some sort. I haven't decided yet um, what I want to do for that, but a cute little holder for these would be fun. Kind of like with the uh, Memory Dex cards, um, and I think most of us know what that's all about, although if you're new to, newer to paper crafting, you may not be as familiar. Whoops, sorry, bumping my camera with the memory decks cards. Um, my sister and I make these and we swap them with each other. So I actually made this one here. It's on a, a memory decks rolling holder. But this is memory decks card that I made last year. And it's fairly dimensional. So there's that one, there's the reverse. Um, and this one, I think my sister made this one for me here was a Valentine's swap that we did. Aren't these pretty? And they've got the little, you know, holes at the bottom so you can mount them onto your uh, memory decks roller. So these go in here. But I really could use some more of these. I don't have a lot. <laughs> got to build up my collection. My sister Annette over at Nettie H Creates uh, made this one for me. She knows how much we love our camper. Front and back. Yeah, designed by Nettie. Anyway, I'm digressing here. But that's the memory dex holder. So I'm thinking it'd be fun to have a little recipe box to put these in and have a little collection of these started for different times of the year, just like we do with our memory dex cards. So that is my Saturday morning makes for this week. Um, but before I sign off, I wanted to share something that I've been doing only recently, and I'm finding this to be just another way to add more materials into my paper crafting that, you know, are not conventional. So what I've been doing is I've been saving my magazines, and I don't have a lot of magazine subscriptions. In fact, some of these I just buy occasionally when I'm at the bookstore. Um, I do have a subscription to Victoria Magazine, and when I'm finished with the magazines, I hang on to these and I go into them. You can see that I've been cutting, okay? So I'm saving these magazines and I'm cutting out images from them and storing them in my envelopes by color along with other materials. So for example, I have in this storage envelope, I've got pinks and reds on the top of my pile. And there are some collage papers, cardstock papers in here that I've used for other projects, but a lot of these are coming directly from my magazines. There are images of these beautiful flowers that can be used in your paper crafting, images of sewing and quilting that I've cut out as well from different magazines. 
um, some embossed cardstock that I did myself. And so, of course, they're arranged by color so that when I go in to select things, they're kind of somewhat coordinated for me already. Here's some vellum and some cardstock that matches these uh, magazine cutouts as well. Um, here's a pretty page in one of my magazines. So all of these things can be cut out, fussy cut, of course, uh, or you can use it as background in your card making or journal making or any of your paper crafts when you're doing embellishments or whatnot. These pages um, are a wonderful resource for adding some, you know, different interest to your, um, to your artwork. Okay, so that's, whoops, bumping my camera. Um, it's an old bit of old wallpaper here. So that was the pink section. Now this is the blues and greens. And here I've got some embossed um, vellum that I put through my die cut machine, my embossing machine. More embossed cardstock, some text pages. And again, they're color coordinated, so they kind of match. Here are the blues. Some of these are cardstock. Here are some beautiful images that I got from magazines. Some more flowers, little florals. There's some pretty teapots of flowers, teacups, and things like that. Some cardstock, magazine pages. This has a tiny blue flower on the back. I don't know if that shows up, but I saved it for that reason. And again, more. More magazine cuts and there's a blue of a sky and also some text. You know, these text pieces can be cut apart and used in ephemera or as backgrounds on little embellishments or even on your, uh, you know, index cards, memory index cards. You can Pull out these words and glue them to your work to make phrases and sentiments. Here are some green images, teacups, little urns. Some of these are Tim Holtz tags that I had laying loose, so I put those in with it. Some music paper cut from a magazine. So just, um, you know, some beautiful backgrounds that you might not ordinarily think about, but if you hang on to your old magazines, um, you might find some interesting things in there to use in your artwork. Um, now, this is an old copy of Daphne's Diary. I've been flipping through this. I've had this for a couple of years, and it's a beautiful magazine. Um, these are not inexpensive. But uh, with all of the material that's in here, once you're done reading it, um, you could certainly go back in and cut apart and get a second use out of it for your crafting. Some beautiful pictures in here. And also some beautiful text. It's a very artistic kind of a inspirational magazine. Here's a little booklet within the book magazine. And of course, you know, some photographs, drawings, all kinds of fun things. So I hope that that has been useful for you and uh, that you enjoyed watching. And hopefully I'll have some more things to share with you uh, in a few more days. Have a wonderful afternoon and we'll see you back again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.